Hey, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you with a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a, lot, having a fantastic day. So, in today's video, I, I want you guys to know that I searched everywhere for this camo. I contemplated on making it myself, which I still might because, to be honest, I don't really like how this camo looks on these guns. It looks the best on the UMP, but in my opinion, the diamond camo doesn't look the best on the acr or any of the other weapons like i said this is just a basic now there is a intervention diamond camo that i downloaded but there's some problems with it so i'm gonna try and fix it and make a different video on it if you guys want me to make my own diamond camo and see if i can get diamond across the entire gun in modern warfare 2 on iw4x let me know down in the comments i really really appreciate you guys support lately on the videos uh they've been doing pretty decent you know better than better than normal so thanks if you guys want to you guys don't have to but you guys can you know leave a like go follow my social media all, all that stuff you know all that crap we're gonna talk about some things I, I i was i was dead wrong about the nba finals but we're gonna talk about some things kind of hang out use this uh use this camo and yeah so without further ado let's go bros all right yeah all right let's play on some new towns play on some new town uh so like like i already said we're gonna be using diamond camo and oh yeah oh yeah it looks very similar to bo1 gold just with and uh not mw2 but um black ops 2 diamond which is super cool super nice i really really like it to be honest it's so clean bro like honestly like this is one of the cleanest camos that i've ever like, i've ever experienced wait why don't i have any sound i mean i took my headset out i took it to my new job so hold on let me explain that after, i'll explain that after after i talk about this i took my asters to my new job because uh, i'm editing videos or whatever at my new job i don't know why like my i don't know why the sound wouldn't work oh give me that two piece there we go nice nice might go around here there's a guy yep yes sir give me that uav four piece okay yeah yeah that's weird uh, i don't know maybe I'll, I'll check the settings after this game's over it looks enjoy the no sound and just uh, just music in the background <laughs> this is so cool the fact that you can play nuketown or bo1 nuketown on iw4x is super super cool and i'm pretty sure you can get a tactical nuke on this as well Dude, all the airstrikes and everything okay there's three there's three can we get one more there's four nice 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 reload look at that nice diamond camo nice five yes sir okay six okay one more nope there's no one back here all right well can we get one can we get one more i think i think on black ops 4 or i think on newtown yep okay cool i thought so they on uh on newtown for iw4x you can only get so many uh streaks and i'm pretty sure it's like three five seven i guess it's very similar to world at war because black ops 1 had more than just three five seven streaks i think so i've never done it so i don't really know but i think you can also get a nuke on black ops 1 nuketown as well but it's not like you select it it's already like a part of the mode and this is nuketown 24 7. all righty so we got the acr right here and uh i thought that was a guy shooting over there wait i think i see no that's a fan that is a fan oh no that's a guy okay whatever so this is the acr with diamond camo and do you guys see what i'm saying like it, it's gold and then there's some diamond on it but there's not a lot of diamond on it i'd much rather have the entire gun be diamond very similar to like world war ii or whatever or you know black ops 2 so i want to try and get that working and all that good stuff i was wrong about the nba finals i definitely thought that the suns were gonna win after they were up two games and i to be honest i think a lot of people thought that the suns were gonna win the finals after those two games i mean they they played so well in those two games i'm kind of shocked to be honest i'm a little shocked that they didn't win i'm gonna be real i'm kind of shocked that they didn't win the finals and uh but the bucks and giannis i mean man okay i saw his head move I mean, giannis is an awesome dude he's a great individual and a great player and he's just a really humble guy and human being and he went off last night i can't stand when he shoots free throws but, you know, that guy can ball. And he had 50 points last night, too, man. You just can't deny how well he played. And he definitely deserved it. I mean, that whole Bucks team it did really, really well. They, they all played so well throughout the playoffs. And the fact that they won four games in a row is crazy, too. I, honestly, when they were down 2-0, I'm pretty sure everybody counted them out. I know I did. Obviously, you guys saw that here on the channel with me saying that I think that the Suns are going to win. But, you know... I just, I don't know, man. There's multiple things I noticed about the last two games uh, with the Suns. So, number one is in game five. The Suns couldn't buy a bucket to save their life. They were missing a ton. CP3, Chris Paul, was missing a lot of shots. 
and that's normally not like him and honestly as soon as he missed that first wide open jumper against the bucks in game six i was like oh well this is not gonna be good <laughs> he was wide open and he just missed it and it was front of the rim miss too it's not like he overshot it it was just one of those things where i as soon as i saw that i was like oh geez uh, this is not gonna be good but they did come back you know it was kind of a case of game five where the bucks were down by 15 and then they came back to win to control again in uh in game six and near the third quarter and they just were not gonna they weren't gonna fold man like the lead and i was surprised and i was actually happy that the game was not a blowout i was really happy that the lead changed multiple times in the second half i did not want to see a blowout I don't think anyone wanted to see a blowout unless you were a Bucks fan. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I think that either team would have been fine with a blowout win. But and for fans that don't really care about either team and they're just watching the NBA Finals, I'd much rather have a competitive game than a slaughter. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what happens next year with the Suns. Uh, Devin Booker put up amazing stats in the playoffs. He played out of, his, out of his mind. One thing I will say about Devin Booker, though, and even the Suns in general last night, they would try and I felt like the Suns would try to do too much. And when I say that, I, I mean that they would try to make passes that didn't need to be made or they'd force passes or whatever. Like it was just weird. Like Devin Booker would go up and instead of drawing the foul, he'd try and pass it off or something like that. Chris Paul did the same thing. And I was like, what are they doing? Like why draw the foul? But at the same time, I don't, I don't know. Like it's just, the league is so weird now. It's, it's, it's very, very weird. All right, we're on a streak. So, oh, we got our hair here. That, that's a guy okay um I, I okay no we are not gonna get sniped can't get sniped you know lay this harrier down see if we can get something maybe we could maybe we could get a little tacky nuke i wish there was a way you could get exclusion zone or dark matter or like a galaxy type camo in this game that'd be sick so you know what no i don't know if we're gonna be able to get a tactical nuke i'm like looking at the looking at the uh the time and we barely have any time left wow that sucks okay well that's that love how teammates don't even don't even recognize it love that 